The Great Conjunction of 2020 The Great Conjunction takes place approximately every 20 years when Jupiter and Saturn are aligned on the same degree of the zodiac. The Great Conjunction represents the change of an epoch and a time when we change the way we see the world. As our view of the world changes, so does society and the way we do things. While the Great Conjunction takes place every two decades, the 2020 alignment opens the door to an even greater cycle. We are able to feel with greater ease that we are not just beings on this earth, but beings of the earth. The solstice is also the start of a new season depending on where in the world you live and a new season always brings a transition of energy. In 2020, December 21st stands out as being a potent day, not just because of the solstice, but also due to a very rare alignment taking place this year known as the Great Conjunction. Furthermore, there is also a total solar eclipse just before this on December 14th, which also adds to the energy the solar eclipse opens a portal to a brand new beginning, and the Great Conjunction a few days later will amplify this portal energy. The opening of this portal will allow streams of high-frequency energies to reach the planet. There is a lot of debate about when the Age of Aquarius begins, or whether we are already in the Age of Aquarius. After the total solar eclipse, we experience two weeks packed with cosmic action. As the moon starts growing, change is likely to happen incredibly fast. A huge amount of energy will shift from an Earth to an air archetype. The highlight of the month is the great Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius. The pressure, the sense of fatigue, and the heaviness we have been experiencing for months are going to decrease while we are likely to feel physically lighter, our minds are going to be way more active. The cosmos is inviting us to experiment, to be original, and to create something that has never been done before. Winter solstice is a time meant to reflect and recreate yourself, to celebrate our journey back into the light, leaving behind anything that keeps us from allowing ourselves the fullness of our power and divinity. Take some time to reflect deeply without criticism about previous decisions and actions, about yourself, your past, and what you want for your future. This is a time for equanimity and gentle recapitulation, a time to consider what your soul requires to shine. All of the cosmic energy this year has been leading us to the closing of a massive karmic cycle for the planet. As this portal on the total solar eclipse opens and intensifies under the Great Conjunction, we will all be able to step into a new Earth. While this is all beautiful energy and can help us to create a new world, we also have to be mindful of losing our sense of individuality, losing our own thoughts and beliefs in favor of what the masses think, and becoming more connected and overly reliant on technology. The path we choose to take is the path we choose to focus on, which brings me to the incredible psychic energies that are also present on this day. A great conjunction represents a time for you to release old habits in order to make way for new ways of doing things. If you aren't open to change, it can feel uncomfortable. But if you are, you can make incredible progress toward dreams you held on to for a long time. The expansive nature of Jupiter and the structure of Saturn team up to help you accomplish something that may have felt like a reach before, but is now totally within your grasp. Saturn represents faith, and Jupiter freedom, free will. Jupiter is associated with expansion, growth, pushing boundaries, and taking risks. This is a reminder that we are part of a greater order. There are spiritual rules in the universe but we have the free will to connect to them or not. This is the meaning of this conjunction in December of 2020 and why it resets the free will in the world. We cannot have the promise of total spiritual freedom unless we learn how to deal with the spiritual rules of the universe first. So the question is, 
How will our own free will adapt to the higher will of the universe? You finally get to have some fun for once. Thanks to the Great Conjunction, you realize that prioritizing your pleasure can have serious benefits. A new look, creative project, or trip can lead to huge insights. If you've been playing it safe, this energy helps you dream bigger than you have in ages. It might be scary to let yourself want something more, but if you do, you might be surprised just how much of it you get and how quickly. Instead of wringing your hands, treat the process like an adventure, and you could find some treasure just around the corner. In the first days of December, the light forces have managed to clear all Chimera fleet from New Earth orbit. This is an important step towards the liberation of the planet, as now the light forces are able to use Near Earth orbit much more freely for their liberation operations, and this has unleashed a huge amount of positive energy in Near Earth orbit. This energy has already precipitated towards the surface of the planet and resulted in disclosure. The purpose of the whole 2020 Age of Aquarius Timeline Stargate is to stabilize the Age of Aquarius positive timeline for the planet. During 2020, the Dark Forces have tried their hardest to prevent the positive Ascension Timeline from manifesting. Now it is our collective chance for the positive Ascension Timeline to be anchored, secured, and stabilized forever and to ensure that the rest of the planetary liberation process occurs smoothly and rapidly. We have to create the opening ourselves. This is Saturn in Aquarius. The spiritual responsibility is given to the people. It's in our own hands to make our destiny right. We are entering a time when we will need to be integrated into a higher will. Saturn is the gateway to this higher energy. Saturn in Aquarius is not about finding the right system or the right path. It is about creating a new way to communicate with the light, with the universe, by accepting this new responsibility. Your relationships are about to shift for the better. If you've been feeling lonely, the Great Conjunction helps you find your kindred spirits in the form of a new social circle, mentor, or VIP connection. Some people come into your life to teach you, and this is one of those times. Be open to learning from the people you admire, and don't be shy about asking them for help. Or, you could help someone transform their life by lending a hand when they need it. Either way, communication is everything, so don't be afraid to share your story. Get ready to experience healing from the inside out. Under the Great Conjunction, You'll renegotiate what you share with others versus what you keep to yourself. After this process, your heart feels more whole than it has in a long time. You could move to a new place that feels like a sanctuary, find a lover who you can be vulnerable with, or even start a spiritual practice. It's all about embracing life's secret successes as much as your public ones. Ultimately, this conjunction teaches you that it's safe to feel good, open up, and trust. All of this intense Saturn-Jupiter-Aquarius will dissipate somewhat when Jupiter leaves the Grand Conjunction in December 2021, but Saturn will still be restricting Aquarius until 2023. All in all, a time of reckoning awaits. Essentially, the frequency of the planet is expanding, we are able to tap into higher frequencies than before, lower frequencies than before too. For those living in 5D, new frequencies and light codes will also be attainable, and this is what is exciting. Who knows what new possibilities or spiritual wisdom and knowledge will start making its way to Earth. For those living in 3D, life will keep following on the same trajectory. However, depending on where their frequency is positioned, they may be able to sense either this growing light or the deepening of the dark. December 21st, 2020 would be the perfect day for a manifestation ritual to visualize what you wish to attract and what you wish for the world. It's a good day to get clear on what you wish to focus on, to connect with your own spirituality, and to get super clear 
on your heart-focused intentions. Use the energy of December to give yourself closure, to create final endings, to resolve your challenges and make peace with your divine blueprint of energy mastery, and to focus on letting go the remnants of your old, disempowered reality that has run out of energy road to create a new frequency of joy, a high vibe of divine congruence, and an unshakable belief in your own empowerment. And prepare yourself for a new experience in 2021 that will be more pleasant. <laughs>